You see this beast right here? Yeah, this is a beastly mod. I'm talking about the most durable regulated mod on the planet right now. And it is called the Aegis by Geek Vape. And Geek Vape, if you're watching, holy shit, did you guys take it over the top with this one. As far as durability, is it indestructible? No, I don't know anything that's indestructible. Damn durable regulated mod. That's my point, guys. I mean, she could take a beating. And I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. We're going to go ahead and drop it into a bucket of water while the device is on. And yeah, she could take it. She's waterproof. Go ahead and pull her out, dry her off, and let's just see if she vapes. Yep, she vapes. So yeah, one, she's waterproof. The second thing I'm gonna do is run it over with my truck a couple times. Here's the first pass. Oh, we got her pretty good. And I mean, she's nicked up, but nothing serious. You know what? I'm gonna stick it right in front of the tire and we're gonna roll over it. Forward, backward, forward, backward. Here we go. All right, so she's waterproof, we saw that. You can run over with your truck or your car, we saw that. Now I'm gonna throw her against this concrete wall. Here's the line, and the pitch! Okay, we'll do it one more time. Holy shit, it still turns on. That's stupid right there. Now, does it fire up? That's the big question. And the screen is still clear. Now, it's blinking because this thing's shooting 60 frames per second, so don't mind that. Oh, yeah, the panels are off. They came off, but here's the rest of the device. Screen still intact. Obviously, it didn't hit it, you know, straight on. All right, so yeah, that killed it. That definitely killed it. But I threw it against the wall probably like, I don't know, 40, 50 miles an hour. There was a spark that came off that wall. That's just stupid. It still turns on, but it's not making a connection. It's saying no coil detected. But you know, I can't even get the battery out now because I guess I hit the, the bottom cap and it, it bent it. So it's it's unable. I mean, this thing's useless now. But I mean, look what I put this sucker through. This thing can take a shit ton of beating. And check it out. Here's the panels that flew off. So as you guys just saw, we really beat the shit out of that mod, right? Well, we got a brand new unit here, brand new Aegis. I got the Vaporesso energy tank on here. I'm vaping her at 55.5 watts with a 0.14 ohm build. I got the airflow wide open. You know the drill. Nice, coolish to warm vape. The way this thing vapes is phenomenal. For a 100 watt regulated device, it's great. It's right up there with the best of them. I mean, literally no ramp up time with this device, guys. Yeah.
That was a 75 watts, and a 75 watts, that's more like it. The way that I've been vaping with this mod, 50 to 80 watts, okay? Somewhere in that range, and I get great battery life. I can go easily all day with this 26650 that it comes with. The fact that it comes with a 26650 is a freaking huge pro. Also, another pro, like I showed you, you could beat the shit out of this thing. I'm also gonna state this. I've seen other videos where people have dropped it on its screen, and the screen goes out. That's a possibility with this, but that being said, my screen never went out. I ran it over with my truck that's 3,500 pounds, at least 3,500 pounds. The screen never went out. It still fired up after I ran over my truck, what, three, four, five times? The fact this sucker is waterproof, as you guys saw, that's another biggie. Did you guys see that man swimming in the pool doing laps with this thing? He would swim one lap, stop, vape, swim the other lap, stop, vape, and he would have this in his hand the whole time in the pool. Pretty impressive. All the function buttons for this, the fire button, the wash up, wash down buttons, I love the fire button. I love how clicky it is. I love the position of it. I just like everything about this. I like how it feels hefty. It just feels of good quality. It's got good weight to it. Anything I screw onto this device, man, you could screw 30 millimeter tanks on here. It's gonna swallow it up. This is a 25 millimeter tank, guys. Look at that. Can you see it? Swallowing that sucker up. The menu screen. Oh my gosh, how easy it is to navigate the menu screen. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you. Don't worry, we're gonna dive down and show you this thing up close and personal. But yeah, the menu screen is a cinch. You could run through the whole menu screen in like 10 seconds. Love the battery door. Like how it's sealed in. Oh yeah, here's another thing. At the top, it's got a USB port underneath this plate for upgrades, but it's got this little seal. Back to the seal. If the battery starts to vent, it's going to puncture that seal and it'll be able to escape. It's going to have battery venting. Back to how this thing feels, man. It's got this leather-esque panel on the back and it just feels oh so good. It, it, it curves, okay? It's fatter at the top and it curves down at the bottom. Just feels good in the palm. Jumping back to the mini screen, the fact that you could run this thing in temperature mode, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, that's a pro. The fact you got TCR mode, the fact you got bypass mode, regular waters mode, and curve mode. Biggie, biggie, biggie. Yeah, buddy, here's the packaging for this Aegis 100 watt mod by Geek Vape. And of course, inside that packaging, you're gonna receive your Aegis mod. Included is a rubber sleeve for 18650 mode. You get an extra mod seal in case you destroy the other one. You receive two extra screws. And last but not least, an Aegis user manual. Now onto the star of the show, the Aegis. First of all, she's made of different things, okay? Rubber, zinc alloy, you got leather, you got some stainless steel, top, bottom, and even on the sides. Actually, I don't even know if these panels are stainless steel, but I know this is zinc alloy, rubber, stainless steel, plastic. I mean, mostly solid stuff, guys. Like I I said very 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 durable she's 88 millimeter by 45 millimeter by 35 millimeter at the top of the aegis she's got a stainless steel 510 connection 510 connection threads are stainless steel a gold plated spring loaded 510 pin and you got this little plate here okay and it looks like battery venting it is but it's sealed up that's why this thing is waterproof because if it wasn't sealed it wouldn't be waterproof but underneath the plate you got this little seal right here's the extra one it comes with and the seal sits about right there well if the battery in this mod were to vent the gases from that battery would push this seal up and there's a little pin underneath this plate and that pin would puncture this area right here the center area and that's when this mod would be able to vent and that's why they give you an extra seal because if that battery in here were to vent the seal that's inside this mod will be ruined and it wouldn't be waterproof anymore so they include an extra seal for that purpose on the front of this mod you got your fire button love the fire button love the position of the fire button it just mm, look at that it just it just looks like it feels good doesn't it it's clicky you got your water shut, water down buttons down here. You got your screen. Look at that. Your mini screen right there. God, the mini screen is so easy to navigate. So yeah, stainless steel, rubber, and that rubber also extends all the way down here, around here, up here, around here. And this rubber, man, very, very, very durable. It doesn't even scratch up. I guess the only thing it could do over time, if you were just to totally beat the shit out of this thing, it would take chunks out of the rubber. But scratching it, it's very hard. And here's the battery door or the battery cap. Pull this thing up. You unscrew it seals everything in. Here's the battery, 26650 battery it comes with. Threads are nice and smooth. Here's the inside. You just feel it seal up right there. It's like a vault. Guys, turn this device on and scroll through the menu screen. It's so easy. Five clicks to turn her on. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna see the first thing is power, wattage, the battery gauge, coil, amp, volt, puff counter. Hit this fire button three times. One, two, three. That sucker highlights and we can go into TC nickel, TC stainless steel, TC titanium, TCR. You got curves, bypass, and then back to regular wattage. And to go into each one of those settings, when they're highlighted, all you gotta do is hit the fire button, goes down to the puff counter. We can reset that by hitting the wattage up or wattage down scroll over tc nickel same thing hit the fire button adjust the wattage 
and it does round robin. And then here are the curves. Hit the fire button and we can go in and adjust the wattage. P353, P440, P530. We're gonna go back to P1, adjust that. We're gonna go to 80 watts. So it's gonna start at 80 watts. Then it's gonna jump down to P2, 61 watts. We're gonna go up to 65. This is how we can adjust the curves, guys. If you've dealt with curves, you know how easy it is. So it's gonna start high and it's gonna gradually go down. Go ahead and hit that fire button. So yeah, it shows you a live feed. Isn't that pretty cool? Price point, price point, price point, 70 bucks. And 70 bucks for what you were getting, in my opinion, steal, steal, steal all day, every day. Hell yes, I'd buy this. If I lost this thing today, I'd definitely go out tomorrow and buy it. I've been enjoying it that much. If you're looking for something that's very durable, let's say you're in the construction, hell yes. Right down your alley. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, liked it, found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like this video, well then like it down below. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe for more. This is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.